Let's look at real reasons why Roman Reigns was dethroned at WWE WrestleMania 40 and directions for Damian Priest and Cody Rhodes after their major WrestleMania wins. Real reasons why Roman Reigns was dethroned at WWE WrestleMania 40. WWE WrestleMania 40 was a dramatic night, with Cody Rhodes eventually ending Roman Reigns' record-breaking title run. The incident will be remembered for decades. Cody Rhodes and Roman Reigns faced off in a tough bloodline rules battle for the undisputed WWE Universal Championship on the second night of WWE WrestleMania 40. The match featured visits from John Cena, The Rock, The Undertaker, Seth Rollins, Solo Sikoa, Jey Uso, and Jimmy Uso, bringing the storyline to a close after more than a year. Without further ado, here are a few reasons why a fantastic period ended today. Number 5. The Largest Stage Roman Reigns held the Universal Championship for nearly 1,000 days, defeating elite performers such as John Cena, Brock Lesnar, Goldberg, and Edge to mention a few. When it came to deciding when the title reign would come to an end, it was obvious that it would take place on the grandest stage of all. While last year's show shows was a good opportunity, extending the end for another year and leading up to the mind-blowing finale was ideal. WWE WrestleMania 40 provided an ideal setting for the end of the reign. Number 4. Tensions Between Cousins The Rock vs. Roman Reigns at WrestleMania 40 appeared to be the plan until the We Want Cody bandwagon swept the professional wrestling business. This revealed an unbreakable kinship between the Simone cousins. While the brotherhood appeared to be as tight as it could be leading up to the showcase of the Immortals, tensions between the cousins started to show on night one when Reigns speared the rock by mistake. The Great One added the bloodline rules condition, which eventually led to the tribal chief's downfall. Now Roman Reigns has a compelling motive to face his cousin, potentially leading to a showdown at next year's show of shows. Number 3. An Uncertain Situation Many fans expected the head of the table to retain the title at WrestleMania 39, and that is exactly what occurred. This year, a higher proportion of the WWE Universe expected the title to be retained. As Roman Reigns approached Hulk Hogan's record for one of the longest world title reigns, the promotion could have realistically booked him to remain champion for longer. The bloodline rules bout made the outcome more unexpected. Fortunately, the finish benefited the baby face, resulting in a loud pop at the event. Number 2. Baby Face Run Roman Reigns has carried the organization on his back for the past four years, taking full responsibility as a heel. The bloodline, The Rock's return, and the aura resulted in perhaps the best heel in the business. It may be time for a shift. If any heel comes close to the tribal chief right now, it's the final boss, The Rock. Following the teasers at night one, it appears that a rivalry between the cousins is in the works. For the best results, Roman should remain the babyface going forward. Fans will finally support babyface Reigns. He deserves it, to say the least. Number 1. Cody Rhodes was the perfect candidate to dethrone Roman Reigns. During the Tribal Chief's 13-16 day title reign, many opponents entered the ring and fought him fiercely. Fans believe that when stars like Daniel Bryan, Edge, John Cena, Finn Balor, and Drew McIntyre challenged the head of the table for the undisputed WWE Universal Championship, they were the proper decision. However, after years of preparation, Cody Rhodes became larger than life. The American Nightmare is a kind, hardworking, and courteous individual who deserves to be a global champion. He was the ideal candidate to dethrone Roman Reigns. Directions for Damien Priest after his unexpected victory at WrestleMania 40 Damien Priest stunned the world on night 2 of WrestleMania 40 by successfully cashing in for the World Heavyweight Championship via Money in the Bank. Drew McIntyre dethroned Seth Rollins and got into an altercation with CM Punk, which led to this surprise. Retaliation from the best in the world provided an opportunity for the Judgment Day member to cash in and ultimately win his first world championship in the Stanford-based competition. In this piece, we will look at the four opponents for the world champion following his surprise triumph at the Showcase of the Immortals. Number 4. Jake Uso might face Damian Priest on Raw. One of the probable competitors for the Judgment Day member is none other than Jay Uso, the former right-hand man. The Simone star has already gained momentum after defeating Jimmy Uso on night one of WrestleMania 40, so it's feasible that the Stanford-based company may ultimately book the star for a world championship match as part of his post-WrestleMania preparations. Jay Uso and the Judgment Day had already had a long history together, as the Simone star and Cody Rhodes defeated Finn Balor and Damian Priest to become the undisputed tag team champions last year. Meanwhile, a few days later, the Raw side regained its titles. Furthermore, a victory over Jimmy appears to signal the end of his rivalry with the Bloodline. This allows the organization to schedule Jay in different directions for Monday Night Raw. Number 3. Andrade A might get his first title shot since his return. Andrade A is another potential star who might face Damian Priest, next for the World Heavyweight Championship. Since his return to the Stanford-based company, the former U.S. champion has been involved with the evil organization. Despite this, he chose to turn against the group, 
teaming up with Rey Mysterio and El Dudo against Dominic Mysterio and his crew. This culminated in Andrade defeating them on night one of WrestleMania 40. So it's plausible that the star has set his sights on the Archer of Infamy, confronting him on Raw following WrestleMania 40. Number 2. Gunther may put his sights on the world title. Night one of the showcase of Immortals did not go as planned as Gunther lost the Intercontinental Championship to Sami Zayn. However, the loss of the IC title has created an opportunity for the WWE to book the ring general in a world title feud. This raises the potential of him being Damian Priest's next opponent after his stunning victory at WrestleMania 40. Number 1. Drew McIntyre might activate his rematch clause. Drew McIntyre's aspirations come true at WrestleMania 40 when he won the World Heavyweight Championship in front of a live audience. However, his joy was short-lived as Damian Priest cashed in his MITB briefcase to win the World Heavyweight title. So it's quite likely that on Raw following WrestleMania 40, the Scottish Warrior will cash in his rematch clause and demand a rematch against Damian Priest for the World Heavyweight title. Directions for Cody Rhodes after finishing his story at WWE WrestleMania XL After 1316 days, Cody Rhodes finally dethroned Roman Reigns to become the new undisputed WWE Universal Champion. Following an incredible main event featuring the Usos, Solo Sikoa, John Cena, The Rock, and The Undertaker, the American Nightmare concluded his story with a rapturous celebration. Following his historic victory, the grandson of a plumber was joined in the ring by several prominent baby faces, his family, and Triple H. The uncrowned champion was was ultimately crowned and the experience was everything anyone could have hoped for. However, for the new champion, the end of one story means the start of another. The world is eager to see what happens next for the new undisputed WWE Universal Champion. Here are three probable options for Cody Rhodes after completing his tale at WrestleMania XL. Number 3. Cody Rhodes joins SmackDown after making history at WWE WrestleMania XL. Cody Rhodes was the number one babyface on WWE Raw prior to his storyline ending at WrestleMania XL. The American Nightmare has performed admirably on the red brand, but his prized title belongs to SmackDown. Thus, the grandson of a plumber may be compelled to switch brands to fill the job previously held by Roman Reigns on Friday nights. This would provide the new champion with a full slate of new feuds, while also allowing the other baby faces on Raw to come up to take his place. With new world heavyweight champion Damian Priest, Drew McIntyre, Seth Rollins, and CM Punk on Monday nights, the flagship event is in capable hands. Number 2. Cody Rhodes might launch an undisputed WWE Championship Open Challenge Aside from concluding his personal tale, Cody Rhodes' major purpose in pursuing the undisputed WWE Universal Championship was to free it from Roman Reigns' control. The Tribal Chiefs' concept as a part-time champion did make the title feel more exclusive and exclusive, but it also meant that the weekly shows lacked a centerpiece. With the American Nightmare holding the title, he has the opportunity to become a fighting champion. What better way to get this started than with an open challenge on his first appearance? It would imply that the Rhodes period will operate differently from the Reigns era. Number 1. Cody Rhodes could face The Rock following WWE WrestleMania XL. Rhodes finally defeated Roman Reigns to win the undisputed WWE Universal Championship. The American Nightmare received redemption for his controversial loss at WrestleMania 39, bringing his saga with the Tribal Chief to a close, for the time being. He did not, however, defeat his foe, The Rock. The final boss defeated the grandson of a plumber on WrestleMania XL Night 1 or was eliminated on Night 2 by The Undertaker. The new champion has yet to confront the man who made him bleed and trash talk his mother in the lead-up to the show shows. WWE would be missing out on a lot of money if he didn't face the Great One one-on-one. -on -one.